fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. General Mills, makers of Cheerios, the oat cereal that's ready to eat, Betty Crocker mixes, and Wheaties, the breakfast of champions, present by special recording, The Lone Ranger. Say, isn't there something pretty wonderful about the delicate flavor of fresh roasted peanuts? Doesn't it make you hungry just thinking about it? Well, now you can enjoy this all-time flavor favorite in a brand new Betty Crocker cake mix. It's called Peanut Delight, and it really is a delight. It's the first cake mix ever made with butter from fresh roasted peanuts. What's more, into this mix, Betty Crocker has put the same fine ingredients you choose yourself, including famous softer silk cake flour and pure vegetable shortening. But best of all, new Peanut Delight cake mix is made with real peanut butter. That gives the cake its wonderful, delicate flavor of fresh roasted peanuts. Mmm, -hmm. it sounds too good to miss. So try it. It's more fun than a circus and more delicious than you can imagine. Next time Mom goes shopping, ask her to please get the new Betty Crocker cake mix, Peanut Delight. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful mask rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fella. I'll Silver. Hooray! After the Lone Ranger and Toto captured an outlaw named Hans Albert, the masked man's Indian friend took the prisoner to jail in Casper City. As soon as he saw the handbill describing the outlaw, Sheriff Tom Cherry put Hans behind bars. Then he returned to his desk and compared the serial numbers of the paper money Toto gave him with a long list on another handbill. Hans Albert, have that money in saddlebag when we capture him this morning. Oh, God, every bill I've looked at so far is on the list. We think all money on list there, Sheriff. If you're right, this accounts for $5,000 of the stolen cash. Now, if we could find the rest, well... well maybe Luke Moody and gang have rest of money. That skunk. A feller named Hans work with gang. Oh, if that's true, we might be able to make him talk. Him already talk. Him draw map and tell mask friend and Tonto where find Luke and gang. What mask friend are you talking about? Mask friend called Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? Ah. Uh, him and way to hide out now. Well, you, you mean to say you know the Lone Ranger? Ah, uh, me. Know him long time. You said your name was Tonto. Isn't that right? Now, uh, me leave now, Sheriff. Hold on. What's your hurry? Let uh, me go after Lone Ranger. If you wait for a few minutes, I'll get a posse and go with you. Ah, uh, me wait. Good, good. Fifteen minutes later, Sheriff Cherry left deputies to guard the prisoner in jail, while he and five picked posse men rode out of town with Tonto. How much of a start does the Lone Ranger have on us? About four hours start, Sheriff. We'll have to ride hard to catch up with him before he reaches the hideout. How far is the hideout? The Lone Ranger, show me map. It take one day to get there. Spare your horses, boys. The sooner we join the masked man, the better I like it. Get him! Get him! Come on, get him. Get him. Shortly after noon the next day, Luke Moody and the two men with him stood in front of the well-concealed shack in the Dakota Hills. The outlaws named Rome and Webb listened for the sound of approaching hoofbeats, while Luke Moody threw a half-smoked cigarette to the ground. Grinding the tobacco into the rock-strewn soil with a heavy foot, he muttered, uh, Hans should be back here by this time. Hey, listen. Uh, rider's coming this way. Maybe it's Hans. Hans had come from the east. That rider's coming from town. It's Muley. Bringing supplies from town. He's traveling fast. Yeah, too fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay there. That 
What's the idea of traveling so fast, Muley? A pace like that could kill a horse. I was in a hurry to get here, boys. What's wrong? Someone in town recognize it? No, no. No one in town knows me, Luke. Uh, they shouldn't. You're the only one of us who hasn't been written up in any handbills. Well, I've got good news. Oh. Oh, Webb, take the saddle off my black while I go inside and tell Luke and Rome about it. All right, Muley. Come now, on, boy. After I bought the supplies we needed, Luke, I stopped in the cafe in town. <laughs> That's no surprise. A soldier was there, asking the barkeep to let him buy on credit. <laughs> Nothing new about that, Muley. I know. But when the barkeep turned him down, the soldier said he'd have plenty of cash to pay what he owes on Thursday. What happens then? He and all the soldiers in this part of the country collect the wages due them for the last six months. Yeah. Well, how do you know? <laughs> I bought the soldiers some drinks and started asking questions. He told me all about the payroll. Hey, a payroll would be worth going after. You're doggone right. Hey, is that coffee hot? Yeah. Well, I'll get a cup. How, uh... How's the payroll being sent to the fort? On the express car, the Northern Pacific. Oh, that means a train robbery. Shooting our way into an express car won't be easy. We'll not have to rob the train to get it, Luke. What? Right. Uh, the payroll will be unloaded at Piney Station. The Army will pick it up there tomorrow afternoon, take care of getting it to the fort in the territory. Uh, the soldiers in Fort Abraham will get it day after tomorrow. How will the Army move it? Mm. In a wagon with grub and ammunition? Well, then all we have to do is stop the wagon. Yeah, that's right, Rome. There's only one trouble. Robbing the army is a lot different from any other kind of holdup. Federal agents will be on our trail. Yeah. For a share of the payroll, I'd risk a tangle with federal men. We'll not tangle with them if we can help it. I figured we'd come back here after the robbery and hide out, Luke. No one will be able to find us. No, no. That's out, Muley. When we get the payroll, we'll keep going. We're going where? Across the Badlands. To the Canadian border. What? Canadian? There isn't a lawman alive who could track us through the Badlands. You know how to get through them? Sure. I've heard of fellas that got lost in the Badlands and died there. We'll not die there, Rome. I know the way through them, too. Well, in that case, it's all settled. By this time tomorrow night, we'll have the Army payroll. At three o'clock the next afternoon, Toto, Sheriff Cherry, and the posse men drew rein outside the outlaw hideout. Oh, 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 They dismounted and looked around. Why, the place is deserted, Tonto. Maybe the Lone Ranger's already captured the gang. No. No, him not capture gang. What? How do you know? And you look at tracks. Huh? Four riders left here a long time ago. Here, hook print of silver. The Lone Ranger's horse? Not right. Him here about an hour ago. Leave Indian sign here on ground. Oh, do uh, pebbles arranged like that mean something? Ah, sign mean Lone Ranger want me follow him. Will you be able to follow his tracks from here? Ah, uh, me follow him. Well, then let's go. Hit the saddle, boys. All right, Sheriff. You're hitting that. Easy, fellow. Lead the way, Tonto. Get him up. Come on. Get up, Come on. We'll continue our Lone Ranger adventure in just a moment. Sheriff Sam is a boy of ten. He busts right in the robber's den and gets his man because he knows he's got go power from Cheerios. Yes, he's got go power. There he goes. He's feeling his Cheerios, Cheerios, Cheerios. That's Cheerios, the cereal shaped like little letter O's. And those O's stand for oats, the good grain Cheerios is made from. Every delicious spoonful of Cheerios and milk is real muscle-building food. Each spoonful contains vitamins, minerals, and proteins your body needs. Yes, those good things in a Cheerios breakfast do good things for your body. Help you have healthy nerves, good red blood, strong bones and muscles. You can see that Cheerios is made to give you real go power. So make sure you have a Cheerios breakfast every day. Then you'll hear people say... He's feeling his Cheerios. Now to continue. To avoid being seen and recognized in Piney Station where they were known criminals... Luke Webb and Rome had waited on the outskirts of town while Muley rode on. 
At three o'clock, he joined his friends. Oh, there, whoa, whoa, boy. Whoa, there, whoa. whoa. What about him, Muley? Six soldiers put the payroll in a covered wagon and left town. They're heading west. We'll go after him. Get up, get up, get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Luke and his men followed the wagon tracks for several miles. Then the outlaw leader signaled a halt. Oh, 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 oh. Boys, the wagon tracks are heading for Dead Man's Canyon. Yeah, you're right. Those soldiers are jugheads to go through there. <laughs> We're lucky they don't know any better. There's a shortcut through the hills, and by taking it, we'll reach the canyon ahead of them. Good. Sure. Right. Now, we'll wait on the rim for that wagon. Getting a payroll will be as easy as falling off a cliff. Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up. When the outlaws threw rain on the canyon rim, they saw a dust cloud in the distance. Muley studied it for a moment, then said, It's the wagon, Luke. With rifles ready, Luke and his men concealed themselves until the wagon entered the canyon. Then, get them, boys! Before the surprised soldiers could return the fire, four of them were seriously wounded. As the other two sought cover, Luke brought them down. That does it, boys. They're all down. Let's ride to the canyon floor and get the payroll. Luke Moody was in the lead when the gang entered the canyon. Leaving his horse at ground hitch, he walked toward the wagon. When suddenly... A wounded soldier fired the shot that struck him. Luke went down, but as he fell, his gun roared. The soldier dropped to the ground. Keep your guns handy, boys, while you disarm those soldiers. Come up there, Dave. We just wounded them. While you collect their guns, I'll see how bad Luke's hurt. After disarming the wounded soldiers, Webb and Rome smashed the lock on the chest containing the payroll. They put the money into their saddlebags oh. and joined Muley at Luke's oh. side. Uh, he'll not be able to travel, boys. You've got to get me to a doctor. No, no, no. Take it easy, Luke. Oh. Your saw bones is in Piney Station. I'll die. I'll die if I don't get help. I'll... Is he dead? Oh, he's unconscious. Good. We'll leave him here. But, but he planned to hold up. It was his idea to clear out of the country. You know how to get through the Badlands, Muley. Well, yes, but... We'll ride through them just as we planned. We've got the payroll. Now hit the saddle, Muley. Uh, All right, Rome. Half an hour later, the Lone Ranger drew rain on the canyon rim. Oh, oh, easy. Come on, Silver. A few minutes later, he entered the canyon. Two of the disarmed soldiers had sufficiently recovered from their wounds to help their comrades. When they saw the masked man, a corporal came toward him. Oh, oh. Mister, we're in trouble. Easy, steady, big fella. I'll do all I can to help you, corporal. Tell you what, you're masked. I'm no outlaw. Outlaw or not, we need your help. Is anyone dead? No. The rest of our fellas are badly hurt. So is that outlaw. Bandage the wounds of two men, put them in the wagon. While I help you take care of the rest, tell me about the ambush. Right. By the time the last of the wounded soldiers had been cared for and placed inside the wagon, the Lone Ranger knew the details of the ambush. He knelt beside Luke Moody. You know that skunk, mister? Yes, I've been looking for him for some time. Who is he? Luke Moody. Uh, He's badly hurt. I hope he dies. Muley. Rome, Webb. Your friends are gone, Luke. Gone? Yes. You you mean they left me here, left me to die? You'll not die. Hey, you're, you're masked. <laughs> you're a law dodger, too, huh? You're wrong. Oh, there's no need to lie to me, mister. <laughs> Take it easy while I bandage your wound. Oh, I, I wish you'd been traveling with me instead of the coyotes who left me here. But I'll get square with them. You know the way through the Badlands? Yes. Why? Muley, Webb, and Rome are heading that way with the army payroll. If you go after them, you, you might be able to take them by surprise. I'll go after them. Good. <laughs> Gun them all and the payroll's yours. But before you kill them, tell them I sent you. I want them to know that they, they can't get away with double-crossing Luke Moody. They could 
Hey, he's lost consciousness. I've done all I can for him. The doctor in town will have to remove that bullet. Well, we'll, we'll take him to town in the wagon and turn him over to the sheriff. I'll go after his pals. Thanks for helping us, mister. I'm glad I was near when you needed help, Corporal. He's just a big fellow. An Indian friend of mine named Toto was following me. If you meet him, tell him I'm heading for the Badlands. All right. Come If he catches up with those crooks, he'll have the army payroll. With odds of three to one, he'll have a hard time getting it. Yeah, it's too bad he's not, Law. He's different from any owl hoot I ever met. He'd make a fine soldier. Yeah. Well, come on, Buck. I'll drive the wagon back to town. Right. After riding hard for several hours, Muley, Rome, and Webb reached the Badlands. Oh, 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 oh. For a moment, Muley looked from the familiar landmarks to the darkening November sky. I don't like the looks of those clouds, boys. I've been watching them too, Muley. Storm's blowing up. Yeah, it might be a bad one this time of year. We might need shelter before we're through the Badlands. Well, there's only one place I know of to find it. But we'll have to ride hard to reach it. We'll follow you. All right, then. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. The worst storms in the history of Dakota Territory swept across the Badlands that night. In the beginning, it was a fine rain. Then, as the temperature dropped rapidly, the rain changed to sleet and icy pellets of driven snow that stabbed like sharpened nails. Muley and the two men who followed him fought their way grimly toward shelter. How much farther do we have to go, Muley? Oh, 10, 15 minutes ought to bring us to Chimney Rock. Is there a cabin there? Just a three-sided rock formation with a lot of overhanging rocks that'll shield us from the storm. I'd settle for a hole in the ground if I could find one. Hey, boys, there it is to the left. Yeah. I miscalculated. We've already reached Chimney Rock. Come on. Get, get, on, get, get it. Get it. Come on. Later, the outlaws dismounted under an overhang at the base of a steep cliff. Huge rocks on both sides shielded them from the wind and storm. Muley took a stub of candle from the saddlebag and lit it. For a moment, the flame flickered, then burned brightly. This is as good as being in a cave. A lot of travelers must use this place for shelter. There's some wood. Some cow folks might have left it there. Are there ranches in the Badlands? Yeah. Sometimes riders come this way looking for strayed stock. I'm much obliged to them for leaving wood. I'll get a fire going. How long do you figure the storm will last, Neely? Well, there's no telling, Webb. Sometimes they sudden. Other times the last couple of days. We'll just have to wait it out. Later that night, the storm began to subside, but the roaring wind was loud enough to drown the sound of Silver's hoofs. Come on, Silver! As the mighty Silver brought the Lone Ranger close to Chimney Rock, the masked man saw the outlaw's campfire. He drew rain. Move, move, move. The thinning snow revealed three men in the firelight. Come on, Silver. The Lone Ranger dismounted and guided Silver to a giant boulder. Hey there, boy. Easy. Leaving the stallion in its meager shelter, he advanced on foot. He stopped and dropped to the cover of a big rock, a short distance from the outlaws. With a gun in each hand, he shouted, Webb! Muley, Rose! You're covered! Put on your guns! The startled gang snatched guns from their holsters, but before they could fire, the masked man's colts blazed. <laughs> Muley staggered and fell with a bullet in the arm as Webb dropped his gun and collapsed with a wounded shoulder. For a moment, Rome's pistol wavered uncertainly as he tried to see through the darkness beyond the fire. You're a perfect target. Show yourself. And stop a bullet. Not a chance. Stop your gun. Not till I get you. No! A silver bullet shattered Rome's gun. As the outlaw looked around for another weapon, the Lone Ranger called, Raise your hands or I'll break your arms. You've been warned. Don't shoot. I won't fight a man I can't see. I give up. What about your pals? They're hurt too bad to make any more trouble. It's Tommy. Hello. Oh, 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 oh,
Me bring Sheriff and Posse from Casper City. We met the soldiers you helped. They told us you were heading for the Badlands. Yeah, just in time, Sheriff. The last of Luke Moody's gang are there beside the fire. Take care of them, boys. Put handcuffs on them and then bandage their wounds. Right. Don't try a fast move, you skunks. You're all covered. They stole an army payroll, Sheriff. It's in their saddlebags. The soldiers driving the wagon back to Piney Station told us about the ambush. The sheriff sent one deputy back to Piney Station with them to watch Luke Moody. Yeah, even though he was wounded, I didn't want to take any chances with him. Good for you, Sheriff. Uh, Corporal Davis told us how you helped him and his buddies. Kimasabi. Yes? <laughs> Him plenty surprised to learn you not outlaw. I told him I wasn't running from the law. Now he knows for <laughs> sure you weren't. The storm almost ended. Yes, Toto. The sheriff and his men will have no trouble taking the prisoners back to town. Aren't you riding with us, mister? Oh, no, sheriff. But before we leave, I want to tell you, I promised Hans Albert I'd let the law know he helped capture the gang. I'll remember that. Good. Adios, sheriff. Bye. Adios. Goodbye, Tano, and thanks. That all right. Maybe we meet again sometime. I hope it's soon. So long and good luck. Everything under control, boys? Full catch are all handcuffs. As soon as Pete finishes bandaging their wounds, we'll be ready to travel, Sheriff. Good. Uh, who, who shot me? Who opened fire on us? You mean you don't know? We never got a look at the critter. Too bad you crooks missed your chance to see the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger, a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated, is produced by Prendel Campbell Muir Incorporated. The part of The Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Your announcer, Fred Foy. Listen to The Lone Ranger, brought to you by 